Hey everyone, Ace of Clay here and welcome to another video. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to sculpt and paint a miniature jack-o'-lantern. Now, this is a very linear tutorial. It's just a basic pumpkin, but you can add in your own creativity and pretty much do whatever you want. Just kind of use this as your jumping off point. So, without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. On our materials list, we have some aluminum foil, beige super sculpey, as always, clay softener, my favorite sculpting tools, including a semi-large ball stylus, a couple of paint brushes. I have a super fine one and a wider one. As for paint, we have some black, some brown, some orange, and these are all either Americana or folk art. And then lastly, I have some translucent liquid Sculpey. All right, that's about it. Let's get right into the video. The first thing we need to do is we need to create the internal structure for the pumpkin out of aluminum foil. This is also called bulking out. We'll take a relatively small piece here and I'm just going to ball it up into the shape of the pumpkin best I can. I'm gonna take a little bit off here because I don't want it to be too big because again, this is a miniature jack-o'-lantern, not a giant one. All right, once you have your core shaped out, it's time to cover it with our Super Sculpey. So I'm just gonna take a piece here, condition it. So I'm just going to kind of flatten the piece out a little bit here, place the core inside and cover the entire thing with a nice generous layer of Super Sculpey. And I'm going to ball it up, evenly distribute it like so. All right, now we're going to smooth the entire surface of our pumpkin using our fingers and just kind of shape out the shape of the pumpkin like that. Now I'm keeping the bottom pretty flat and then the top I'll deal with in a second, but I want the bottom to be flat so that it doesn't roll around when I set it on the table. I want it to just stay put. All right, now we're gonna set that down and I'm going to take my large ball stylus here and create an indent in the top. This is where the stem will be going. So then now that that's in there, I'm going to Smooth everything out. All right, we're getting somewhere here. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm not too worried about the surface being super smooth just yet. I'm going to start doing the face. And I think for this one, we're gonna do a pretty traditional pumpkin face here. We'll do like the triangle eyes with a jagged toothy mouth. So to do that, I'm just going to take a tool that is triangular shaped here, find a good spot for the front. I always pick the nicest side to be the front, obviously. And I'm just going to press in my tool like that to create the top of each of the eyes. Just make sure that's really nice and clean. And then I'm going to take my little dental tool thing here, and I'm going to finish off the bottom. Like that. Double check and make sure they're even. Then I'm going to go in and create a texture inside of the eyes, just by drawing lines within the shapes I created here. All right, so far so good. Now it's time to create the mouth. I'm gonna start way over here using that same dental tool. Just gonna create a zigzag line. And that's looking pretty good. And I'm just gonna go in there and just refine that a little bit more. All right, and we are Pretty much halfway there. So to create the lines in the pumpkin, I will be using a color blender to gently press in the lines. And then some of the lines I want to bring up all the way to the stem area and some of them I want to keep short. 
It's looking pretty good so far. All right, and there you have it. Now it's time to create and attach the stem. All right, so set that aside. Now to create the stem, there's a million and one ways that you can do this. My personal favorite is creating one that is twisty. And that's what I'll be showing you how to do. But again, you can just use your imagination and really make whatever kind of stem you want. So to do my kind of stem, I'm going to roll out a piece of clay, relatively thin. I'm going to fold over the whole thing and then twist. Like that, and I want to get thinner at the top and have it be wider at the bottom. And then flatten off the top there. Then I'm gonna take my lovely broken palette knife here and cut off the stem. Take a little bit of bacon bond on a paintbrush here. Just get some on the bottom there. And then attach it to our pumpkin. That. And then when I attach it, I'm going to press it down to shorten it a little bit. And then with an old paintbrush, I'm going to get all of that excess bacon bond out of there. All right, it's looking pretty good. Then with that same paintbrush, I'm going to add a little bit of clay softener to the pumpkin. We're going to use this to remove fingerprints. And try not to add any more while I'm doing this. And then for the top of the stem, because I just don't want it to be flat and boring looking, I'm gonna take my pen tool, add a bunch of little dots on the top of the stem to create a texture. All right, that's about it. Time to go stick this guy in the oven and then come back and paint him. All right, our little guy is fresh out the oven and he's ready for paint. I got my orange paint ready to go here. I'm just gonna cover the entire surface of the pumpkin with a thin coat of orange. All right, our coat of orange is on. Now it's time to let that completely dry and then we're going to add a little bit of an antiquing effect to it. All right, now that the orange is completely dry, it's time to start antiquing him. So to antique this, I'm just gonna take my little makeshift aluminum foil palette here, add a little bit of brown to it and a little bit of black. All right, then I'm going to mix those colors up here just using a little bit of the black because I just want a dark brown color. And then we're going to water this down a lot, just dip our brush into our water here and water it down really well. Then I'm gonna have a piece of paper towel ready to wipe off the excess. I'll also be using my fingers as well. So once we have our paint here watered down, just gonna go over the entire front with a generous coat of it. Like that, making sure to get into all the nooks and crannies on this guy. And then before you give it a chance to dry, you're going to wipe off the excess and hopefully it will stick to all of the crevices and leave the smooth parts orange. And there's the front of our pumpkin. Now we're going to repeat this process on the back. There we go, the antiquing process is pretty much done. Now before I go in and darken the eyes and the mouth separately, I'm just going to add a little bit more orange to add a few highlights. And this just cleans it up, make it look, makes it look really polished and nice. Now the next step, I am going to go in and paint the eyes and the mouth completely black. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Now it's time to paint the stem. Just gonna add a little more brown paint here and then carefully paint the stem. And there we go, your little pumpkin is done.
And that's a wrap everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe and of course leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the finished pumpkin. I have t-shirts available if you want to check those out down below. And then of course follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Ace of Clay. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.